Greg from Balloon Market here and welcome to BMTV. And as you can see, we're once again joined by Julie from Qualitex. Hello, Julie. Hello, Greg. How are you? I'm good. I'm really, really good. What have you been up to since you were last here? <laughs> Broke a few hand pumps. You did break a hand pump. I was, I was showing Julie this, this trick. Okay. Is it a trick? I don't know if it's a trick. It's just, it's just what I it's do. It's a technique. So when I was a um, bartender, I used to do that with the bottles. That's Back in the day. Okay. Back in the day. And uh, Julie tried it, dropped it, and broke it. I can't do it. You can't. can't do You're it. right. You're absolutely right. But you I will learn myself to do it. Do it over your bed or something. I don't or like the carpet. fact that you can do it and I can't oh, do it. Yeah. So it I will years, have to rectify that. Years of practice, Julie. <laughs> anyway, welcome back. Thank it's you. Good to have you here. What are you going to be doing today? I'm going to do um, a couple of designs um, using our new farmyardy type balloon. So we've got this nice happy birthday. Um, farmyard and we've got a lovely new cow head which is really nice so we're going to do a mini marquee to start with or a mini mookie <laughs> oh dear I, like, oh, I want to do that mini mookie oh what, what am i doing taking these out well you can if you want I, I, yeah okay I'll let's just take them out well what, what did you just handed well, me thought, a well i thought you of... could hold it open for me well, so i can just get take them, them out that's helpful why, why don't we just take these out before you start? Why do we always wait till the camera's rolling and then... Because you're like a tidy desk. Um, uh, see, I've got two bags down here now. Right. Okay, so, right, we're going to start. So these are five inch balloons and they're size to 4.5. And these are five inch balloons, size to 2.5. Now, these are very small. I know, I don't know where they've come from. It's from my hotel room. Sorry. That's all right. Okay, so I'm going to do this. So because this is a small design, I'm going to do it using a 260Q. So normally when I do my keys, I use stacker online. Okay. Um, but because it's smaller and I want it to be really, really tight, I'm mm -hmm. going to use a 260. So I'm just okay. going to take the air out of it. Tie a knot in the end. And I'm going to attach it to my first cluster. Okay, so that's in there nice and tight and then mm -hmm. I'm going to get my next cluster, sit it in and I want it really tight so I'm going to pull this really tight and then I'm going to do a figure of eight and then, and then repeat. Repeat. I don't like to have like a big gap in between if I can help it, yeah, right. um, but you've got to get your sizing right. For this it's a little bit tricky um, because Normally, I would do at least half the size um, for my smaller clusters, but because mm. we're starting on four and a half, it makes it very small to go down okay. even smaller. So I'm kind of doing a little bit bigger difference in size than I would normally. Yeah, yeah. So what have you been up to, Julie? Um, I've been doing lots of training. Um, I've been planning some training. So we're planning some... Um, looking at courses for next year. Okay. Trying to um, work out what we'd like to do. You said um, you did something to do with Q Corner as well, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, we did, I did. So um, about three or four weeks ago, we went and did, um, it was a Q Corner convention. Mm -hmm. So Q Corner's like, um, it's a YouTube channel that two of our teachers, um, Keith and Dom, yeah. run. And they do like a fortnightly show. Yeah. Um, and then, Fortnightly, for those of you not in the UK, is every two weeks. <laughs> it is though. Uh, yeah. Fortnite is, although Fortnite now, the game. It's a game, isn't it? Do people know what a Fortnite actually is? And it's spelled differently. I don't know. Maybe uh, maybe everybody does know what a Fortnite is. I thought it was just a UK thing. Anyway, Fortnightly show. Is it actually just a UK thing? Well, I thought so. Maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know. Anyway, it's on every two weeks or every fortnight. Yeah. Um, and it's, um, it's a little bit like this in terms of like it's an education show so people yeah. can go on there and they, they can learn um, how to do lots of things. And we have teachers from all over the world yeah. um, go on live on there, but also on pre-recorded ones. And then people can join. So you can either watch it live um, and join in on the chat and things like that. Or you could like just, you can like watch it afterwards. Okay. So um, it started... So I think it was like the first hour for anybody could watch it. Yeah. Um, and then it goes on to people who've subscribed to be a Q, okay. Q Corner um, Rockstar, they call it a Q Corner okay, Rockstar. Okay, Q Corner Rockstar. So that's basically a subscription 
paid for subscription yeah. to the YouTube channel yeah. and they do stuff like this yeah. educational. So where, where do people go if they want to find out about that? So they can go to, they can either put Q Corner um, into the search engine and they'll take it to it or they can go to qualtex.com um, and then there's links to it from there. Okay. Uh, but they're starting a new thing. So if you subscribe, they're starting a, a balloon school and there's going to be okay. lots of information on there um, and you can go on and you can join um, it's a it's a real good way to get um, yeah. lots of knowledge from lots of people from all over the world yeah. really it's yeah. great cool I should okay, get them so down here on BMTV should I really you should get them down here that'd be really yeah, Keith that'd and Dom really come good. down here be on BMTV yes. please there you go request sent out to the world excellent alright so I've just plugged the ends so that's my base. I'm just going to tie this in with the 260Q. Mm -hmm. Just going to wrap it in nice and tight with my 260. sit there and then what I want to do is make a little character to go here using the mini cow head so I've already this, this is a, um, one of our 14 inch files mm -hmm. um, it's been heat sealed already and I'm going to make a body for it so I'm going to um, do it by making um, an attachment point in the bottom with okay. a raisin knot so I'm just going to take a 260 so you could just ah, I'll use this I've got a scrap 260 so I'm just putting lots of knots and you're making something roughly the size of a raisin? Yeah. Oh, is, that, yeah. is that how it gets its name? I guess it probably is, yeah. Oh, I was, I, wow. I was going to say pea, probably because it might be its green. <laughs> but yeah, a raisin that probably is where a raisin not comes from. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to drop that into the balloon. So this is our Halston cow print yeah, yeah. balloons. I really like these. I love those. Great. And then I'm going to take, I'm going to do it with, yeah, I can do it with green actually because I'm going to tie it into the base and then okay. you're not going to see. Okay, so you need to, you need to find the knot inside and work out where you want your attachment point. I want it to be at the bottom, so okay. I'm just going to grab a hold of it. Or the top. Oh yeah, it's the top in there. It could be the top or the bottom, depending yeah. on which way you hold it. It will be the bottom. It will be the bottom. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to take... And I'm just going to wrap my 260 around nice and tight and then tie a knot. Like this. And then that's going to be my attachment point so I can tie that in. Okay. So I can inflate this now. It's amazing how sturdy these balloons are. Yeah, you, you can, can just really do. Tie them not in the bit, in, but the top, and just doesn't break, doesn't no. burst. Famous last words. After this. <laughs> you know, I've been really clumsy today. Yes, you have been. Can't believe you walked into that wall. <laughs> Actually, can you oh, you see? did not walk into a wall. <laughs> not today, yesterday. So, can you see? I've got like a little cut on my nose. There. Yeah. So I was picking strawberries off my strawberry plants, and like, and I forgot I was that like my arbor was here, and I went and I went whack on it. My nose was really red last night. Actually, I thought it was going to be a corker for today. Anyway. <laughs> okay, so. This is how I've made my raisin knot anyway. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I've got one that I've made earlier. Ah, look at that. So um, all I've done with this is I've made um, some little arms with two sixties. Yeah. Um, done a split duplet for the neck and the feet. And then I can just tie that into the bottom. So I can just tie them in. So is that like the, um, so what this, this is a pinch twist, did you say? Yeah. I'll Two pinch twists. Yeah, I can show you how I did it. Let me put it in. I'm saying it's to him. Good I bang. Knows. Yeah. Okay. Um. But just 
adding in little details like this, like that, this doesn't cost that much to make mm. at all, but it, it looks really effective. So tying it in like that makes it immovable. Is that right? Don't ever do that again. <laughs> 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 oh dear. I thought that was funny. It was quite, yeah. No, it wasn't. There we go. So it's, it, that's cute, isn't it? And with yeah. a little flower in his hand. And then what you can do, you can add some flowers in so you can just like stick some little flowers in. Or you How'd you make those flowers? Okay, I'm going to show you. Nice segue into that. Can I put this over here for a second yeah. while you make the flowers? Yeah. <laughs> Okay. I'll get so, rid of this head as well and this. Okay. So this is a 160Q balloon. So it's easier to inflate with um, a 160Q pump because yep. it just goes in a lot easier. Takes a little longer to pump up. Let a bit of air out. Okay, so I'm going to start by doing um, a loop like this and I'm going to twist it and then I'm going to take the knot and I'm going to pull it through that loop and that just holds it in yep. place. And I'm going to squish it down and then in one hand I'm going to go one direction and the other I'm going to go the other way and I'm going to squeeze it in the middle. So that gives me my first two petals then. And then I'm going to give it a squeeze and then I'm going to move it across. I'm going to try and make the petals about the same size as the other ones. Mm -hmm. so I'm going to put a little twist in it here and then pull it through and then come back round to the other side. And then I'm going to do, keep going until I've got a little five petal flower. So I'm doing this on here so you can see what I'm doing. Normally I would rest it against my tummy. I always find it easier to rest. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of the rest of the balloon. I don't want it. I'm going to tie a knot. That's really cute. It is. I know I've seen those made loads of times, but they are really cute. I think 160Q balloons um, make really, really cute flowers, don't they? I think because they're so tiny. Mm. What colour is that? Are that's they, uh... um, that's wild berry. That's lovely. So I'm going to use golden rod for the centre. So yeah. I'm going to do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut off, cut it off so I've just got a little bit at the end, and I'm going to stretch the tip of the... Um, 160 just so that it inflates straight into there so yeah. normally you'd inflate lower down and then you've got to squeeze it up but if you stretch that bit there yeah it means that the air is going to go straight into that point it makes it easier to work with so i'm just going to pull it onto the pump and like this and then all you need to do is just let the air down slowly until you get like a little bubble in the end mm -hmm. and then you can squeeze it round it off and then tie it. Very simple. Yeah, it is really simple, but it, it, it works so well, that technique for just adding. Even mm. in decor, you can, you know, if you just want little bubbles, um, work through. And then all you need to do is just pull it through and you can just wrap it in. And then if you wanted, you could tie that into a design or you can just stick it on if you want. Yeah. So it's quite pretty. So what are you going to do? I'm going to tie them on, I think. I'm going to stick them on. Let's have a look, because we've got a few. Here's some I made earlier. That one, that one with my balloon bond. So I you said you were going to tie them on. Are you going to stick them on? No, I'm going to stick them on. Okay. They're really light, so it makes sense. Got to get my balloon bond out at some point. Oh, that's oh what there. happened? Oh, I don't want to come off that, does it? 
Okay, so you can just stick these in random places, really, just wherever you want them to go. But I do like the one, like, in his hand, and you could also stick one there. That, yeah, oh, do yeah, that, do that. Let's do that. Well, if I suggested that, you'd probably tell me it was the wrong place. <laughs> do you remember that? I do remember that. Scarred you don't me. let me forget. Absolutely scarred me, that did. I got outside my comfort zone and assist. Where do you want it, Greg? Anywhere? Put no. it there, not there. Do you want to stick this one on there? Go on, you can do no, that. I'm not going to do that. I just told you where no, to put no, it. No, 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 I'll, do, I'll still do it wrong. No, you won't. I will. Wrong. You're making me sound like I'm like... An ogre, you are, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so we can just stick that on there. Yeah. Like this and just hold it for a couple of seconds. There you go, very there nice. There we go, so that looks cute, doesn't it? And so you can just keep sticking them on, but let's not yeah, stick them on. Yeah, no, because it'll but, go on too long. But, but you, can, yes. you can just keep on sticking well, them on. And... Move this because... What's wrong with that? Okay. It was sticking All out, right. sorry. Okay. All right, so... Okay, so, so that's one version that you can do with a little character. So okay. what I want to do as well is show you a bigger character. Okay, so... is, that, is that this over here? Yes, please. All right. So Here's me with my the... balloon bags again. There you go. Thank you. This is using a deco. Oh, electric shock. <laughs> oh. oh, man. That really hurt. Oh, that's a shame. Are you all right, Greg? <laughs> Thanks for the sympathy. <laughs> oh, that, was, that was my sympathy. That, that was horrible. That was, that was absolutely horrible. I can't touch foil balloons. I don't know if it's my shoes or what. Thank you. Right. Oh, that really hurt. <laughs> so I've made a foil balloon cluster. I've added a sandwich to it. Yep. And then I've got a deco bubble, 24 inch deco bubble, and I've put some of the Holstein cow um, print 11 inch inside it yeah. um, with a gumball method. And I've also made an attachment point on top. And then I'm just going to pull this into the base yeah. and tie. See, I've got a weight this time. Are you impressed that I've remembered I'm a weight? Very impressed. And it's Julie. even the right colour. That's lovely. Super. Great. Wonderful. Can you remember when you brought me some of them, them weights that time and, and they were, was it on a live and they were horrible big green things? And they, uh, can oh. you remember that? Ah, I'm getting really old. <laughs> okay, so How's that's... That you? that's <laughs> well, we're the same age as I keep When's saying. When's your birthday? What month? 31st of March. I'm actually younger than you. Yeah, and not by much. Oh, it all counts. That's six weeks younger or something. I'm just going to bring this down here, like so, and then I'm going to attach a cluster to this. So yep. this is going to form the neck and the structure for the um, cow's head to sit into. Like so, I can cut that off now. So there are loads of different ways that you can do make characters. I quite like using the bubbles because yeah. it gives a nice They're so back simple as well, aren't they, really? Yeah. But they're great. And it's really robust as well. And then I've got my um, cow's head with the 260. And I'm just wrapping that in. Okay, so that's the head on. So it needs a few, um, I'm going to cut that off actually because I can see it. So I've it's done the arms. arms already. So this is using, oh, I didn't show the technique, did I for doing that? Shall I show I mean, that? we've seen it before, haven't we? Oh, okay. So it's a pinch twist, a yeah. double pinch twist. And then I'm going to pull this through from behind, go around, cross over. And there's his little arms. And there's his arms. Gotta line it up with the, the seams. Yeah, and then you can just shape the arms. So you could add it like point it up or down, whichever way you want to do it. Really, and he'd look really cute. You could put um, the foil balloon helium filled in his hand as well. Yeah, um, yeah. and then that would look nice. So I just think it's nice to, when you're doing a theme of something, it's nice to have a couple of different um, designs that you can 
you can have on it. Yeah. So yeah. it's like if somebody's interested in this, you could kind of like say, oh, well, actually, we've got another little design that's just will work isn't it? really so, well with it. So if somebody bought that, then you could upsell that yeah. or vice versa. Yeah, definitely. You could put Very a little flower cool. in the hair as well. Oh, I've got an electric shock then too. Yeah, I know. It's shocking, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> right, Julie, thank you so much. As you know, as a guest on BMTV, you get to get you get to ask everybody the question of the week. Okay. So what's your question of the week? Um, what is your favorite farmyard animal? Okay. <laughs> what's your favorite farmyard <laughs> animal? Leave your comments down below on Facebook and on YouTube. <laughs> Julie, thank you so much. And thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon. You'll be notified every time we upload a new show. Check us out on Instagram and check us out on TikTok as well. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you all again next week. Be happy, be positive. Ciao for now. Bye. Bye.